Anything is possible, and I hope they do it. Yep. I'm optimistic. Although there's a little less red than previous days, optimism around the Phillies' chances to win continue to swirl through Rittenhouse Square. I mean, they have been doing a great job. They have been working on it. I think they can, and it looks like their pitching is pretty good, and they have some really good hitters if they'll connect with the ball. The Phillies are going to Houston after two tough losses at home, but fans say the next two games are theirs. Looking forward to game six. If we take that one in Houston, it's up to game seven, and then who knows? It's anyone's game. And while they're down, they're certainly not out. And now the faithful are hoping you also keep the faith. You have to have faith. You have to believe. Rabbi Brian Wexler of Temple Beth Shalom in Cherry Hill is a lifelong Phillies fan. Every day when people arrive, they're greeted by a poster of the fanatic with Phillies written in Hebrew. He also has a kiddush cup and mezuzah in Phillies red, white, and blue. Go Phillies! Woo it's been a, a season where the Phillies have taught us to keep believing. They believe in themselves. They said they believe in the fans, and we believe in them. Their Christian brothers and sisters are also still believing in the Phillies. Archbishop Nelson Perez is also a Phillies fan, posting this picture from Game 3, along with this message as the Phillies continue their quest. The fighting Phils have given us reason to hope, to believe, and to celebrate. And celebrating is exactly what fans plan to do. These people have heart, they have a lot of talent. And yes, I know Houston is good, but you know these guys can do it. So let's let's give them a chance to do it. Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News.